Next up, the Martin Pipe Handicap Hurdle over two and a half miles. So 0 to 160. If we look at the card here, you can see uh, what's that? Eight of the eight, nine, twelve of the runners running out of the handicap here. But just the top seven are actually in the handicap. Winter Blues for Kevin Meaney has the favourite. So the two and a half miles and all to one six is top of the pile. Moore's memory for David Robson. Two, Never Murray for Del Hinton. Three, Demurgo for Tan King. Four, Doug Musty for Stu Gray. Five, he'll top four for Jim Murray. Six, Playground for Martin Leadham. Seven, the whitest for Darren Thompson. Eight, Winter Blues for Kevin Meenan. The favourite, nine, Lusty Gray for Pontypool Racing. Ten, Fire Escape for Kyle Arrogante. Bays of Joffrey is 11 for Darren Thompson. Damp Squib for Pontypool is 12. Dens of Pill for everyone is 13. Fire Trap for Kevin Meenan is 14. Indie Leaf for Kyle Arrogante, 15. 16 is Wolf for Jones Follis. Business Lady for Alex Jerry is 17. Ricciardo for Jones Follis is 18. And Swish Villa, number 19 for Alex Jerry. Two and a half miles. Martin Pipe, the handicap hurdle. Here on day three of Cheltenham. So again, we take a helicopter ride. Get to see how crazy Cheltenham really does look. There they are, starting over there, the horses. Oh no, maybe not. I don't even know where they are. Where are they going to start? Whoa, where are we going? We've stopped. <laughs> and we're finally, the flags are raised and they're away. So, fairly nice big field here. It's a challenge for that Martin Pipe. I'll wait for him to settle down and get to the first of eight fences. Oh, sorry, hurdles. Or flights. I don't know why they call them flights because they hardly fly over them. But a Swish Villa that's going to lead us from Fire Escape, Indie Leaf, and Business Lady. These four are already a couple of lengths ahead of the remainder. I'm just bringing up the rear a little bit wide. It's playground. And we'll tag over towards the fence, the leaders. It's a long run down for this first hurdle. So Swish Filler from Indy Leaf and Fire Escape. Business Lady against the fence. Hilltop Fault. Lusty Grey out wide. The Grey. Ducks Musty between them. We've got Damp Squib. Wider still is Winter Blues. And Demurgo. Tan King and the White Six of the Green Hoops and the Red Cap. Uh, just half a length to the whitest and the Wolf. They finally get to the eighth. The first of the eight. And all over it. Just at the rear still is Playground. Run from the rear, playground is in last. Second to last is Ricciardo. Third to last is Denz Appeal. Moore's memory out wide here, the top weight of the yellow silks. Uh, sorry, the yellow cap. It's the Cerise silks with the purple hoops. But up front is Swish Villa from Indie Leaf. And the length also ahead of Business Lady Fire Escape, Winter Blues, and Lusty Grey all together. And a length back to another four of Doug's Musty, Dan Squid, Demurgo, and Hilltop Fall. White is running on his own. Blue silks, white sleeves, white cap. Give him any hands. A fire trap. Second runner. Wolf. Ends a pill. Base of Joffa. Playground just pushing through. And the three at the rear. Never Murray. Moore's memory. And Ricky Arnold go a little bit wide around this top right turn. Left turn. With a mile and a half left to travel. Done a mile. Done. I think two or three of the hurdles. It's actually two. Maybe three. Oh, the poor jump from the leader went up way too early. And he's taken a very stable mate, business lady. So Swish Villa, business lady. The cherry also the leading from the Arrogantes Fire Escape and Indy Leaf. And uh, the two Graham Clatterbuck horses, Damp Squib and Lusty Grey. So that's two by two by two at the moment. Lady and Swish Villa will get over the fifth. The one that jumped it really poor was Damp Squib and demoted himself right back into the mid pack now. So Swish Villa, Fire Escape, Business Lady, Lusty Grey, off against the fence. The first five, but Damp Squib, Playground, and Doug's Musty, Indie Leaf, and Demurgo into the six. All over that, the whitest hilltop for Winter Blues and Fire Trap. Ricciardo, Bays of Joffa, Denzapil, and Never Murray. Get a little bit detached now. There's a Del Hinton horse. I can't imagine it's going to drift off the back of the pack, especially in a handicap. So up front, Fire Escape and Swish Villa take each other on now, inside the six furlongs. So trying to head for home early. With a 
couple of lengths back to Lusty Grand Damp Squib. Playground on the outside. Indy Leaf pushing along. Wolf still sitting comfortably. Moving well on the outside. Now is Doug's Musty. We've only got a couple of hurdles to go. And it's Swish Filler and Fire Escape that lead us from Lusty Grand Damp Squib. Playground pushing through now. Well is Hilltop Fort. They're over the penultimate. Reasonable jumps from everybody, but it's Swish Filler and Fire Escape that still lead us. Pushing through really well is Hilltop Fault. And it's Hilltop Fault that comes up to challenge inside the three and a half. And Hilltop Fault takes the lead. It's Hilltop Fault now by half a length from Fire Escape plugging away. Hilltop Fault and Fire Escape are starting to pull away from the rest. I'm not sure if anything else is going to get into this. But we've still got two and a half furlongs to run. And it's Hilltop Fault from Fire Escape. Lusty Grey. They're the three that are starting to pull away from the rest of the field. The Whitest is trying to plug away. But it's Hilltop Fault inside the two now. Hilltop Fort coming down to the last. Leads by about three from Fire Escape and Lusty Grey trying to make up the ground. But Hilltop Fort got over it well and starts to motor inside the final fern. And it's Hilltop Fort from Lusty Grey and Fire Escape. Running on well in the back is Demurgo. But it's going to be a win for Jim Murray here. Hilltop Fort is going to win the Martin Pike going away from the rest of the field. Hilltop Fort wins it by three from Lusty Grey in second. Third, I think, was Demurgo running on well for Tankin comfortable in there for Jim Murray with Hilltop Fault takes the Martin Pipe, second was Lusty Grey for Pontypool Racing, four and a half lengths behind whoops, they moved that way too quick third was, come on Demergo, fourth was Fire Escape, fifth was the whitest